It's snowing outside. Check it out. I'm the bad guy. Yes, I am. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So, so basically, um, let me give y'all a rundown, okay? Just in case you're wondering where the hell I've been. Well, I've been in my head, in my bed, binge watching Euphoria. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and get the BET. I have not been posting much because I have been um, going through a lot. Not like a lot has been happening, but like my brain, brain-wise, a lot's been happening. I have been going through a thing called rapid cycling, where it's like you're manic, you're depressed. You're kind of in the mix of two, you know. It's not like you're necessarily sad as shit, but you have the symptoms of depression. And along with manic symptoms, where it's like your mood is just like a rah, rah, rah. You're just ready to smack the shit out of anybody that bothers you. You know, it's, it's really tough. Um, Yeah, but... Basically, I've been rapid cycling, so I've been trying to find things to distract myself and fix my mood. So, um, um, I actually did schedule myself a appointment with a therapist, but it's not until March. And it's like fucking January, bro. So, that's a long time to wait. And um, I tried to do virtual therapy, but one... I live in a house of people and I don't want them listening to me talk to my therapist about the shit that I don't want to talk about because if that's the case, I just, you know, talk to them. Nick. I mean, why would I be talking to my therapist in front of them? You know what I'm saying? So that's not a thing. That's not something that I want to do anyway. But anywho, I was talking to my people in my bipolar support group. I'm bipolar, by the way. A little bit of BPD, you know. The normal shit. It's not normal, but you know, it's normal for me. Anyways, um, yeah, I was talking to people in my support group and they were telling me like, you know, you could go through an emergency room and get your appointment. Like, not like an appointment, but like I can go through emergency and talk to somebody right away because they said basically the way that my mind is going right now, like it's very dangerous for me to be this manic <laughs> with, the, with the rapid cycling and shit, you know? So they're like, you know, you need to talk to somebody right away. So they told me to like go through therapy through the emergency. So, yeah, that's a thing, apparently. I'm just scared to go there because it's like, okay, when I go there for physical shit, they leave me there for a long ass time. Nobody comes to see me for a long ass time. Then when they do see you, it's like, wham, bam, okay, get out of here, bye, we fixed your problem. We'll talk to your real doctor now. But I'm like, you know, this is different. So like, what if I walk in here and I tell these people like what's going on in my head and then they're just like, Yo, you know what? We're going to keep your ass. Because it's like, who's going to take care of my kids? I mean, there's their dad, but he has to go to work and shit. So, like, how is he going to keep the children? He got to go to work. My mama got to go to work. How she going to keep the children? She got to go to work. She don't want to scoop my cat litter. Who's going to take care of my cat? You know? I don't want people going through my shit while I'm gone either. So, it's like, I can't go and get committed. What am I supposed to do? But really talking to my real therapist might get me committed anyway, so I don't even know, you guys. But yeah. I have a lot of problems here. <laughs> but anywho, I recently purchased a workbook through Amazon. So I decided like, I'm gonna do a couple of pages out the workbook. Here's a couple of clips of the workbook and how it is. This is a view of the book. But you can see, like, this is all things that you should probably read through. And it's just like, I'm like the type of person that's like, fuck that. Let me get to the part where we're doing work. Like, this is how the worksheets look. You just like, you know, you read this. You just like, they give you different areas where you can do like little short. It's not like too hard to do. This seems like a really easy task to do. I'm going to bookmark this page because I really want to do this one. But I'm definitely going to do the first page that I told you guys and then this page. And then um, I might read this. It's, it's, it's been a long, uh, a long process, you guys. I've done a lot of shit. Anyway, so on to the next topic.
Yeah, my room's a mess, so I feel like my mind's a mess because my room's a mess. So I'm going to go and clean my room. I'm going to show you guys the before. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like after I'm done with that. That cool, child. Quick overview. This is my messy, disturbing room. See, it's not bad, bad, but like, it needs to be straightened up. I might have to get to it. Okay, so I just swooped up my floor. Despite how I may look, this floor is clean, okay? <laughs> just stains. Okay, but um, yeah. Now I just need to straighten up this and make this neater. Clear all this stuff off my dresser so that it looks neat. And then straighten up everything that's inside this cart so it's neat. And then bring it back in my room. I did a little online shopping while manic and since this is a manic video I decided that I'm going to show you guys my manic purchases because why not okay so recently I got a new phone it's the Galaxy A12 this is how it looks so clearly I've already opened it <laughs> and whatnot but um this is a little thing to open up the side piece and this is the actual phone. And this is the case that I just bought. I just got this case. It just came in the mail. Um, this is the front of it with the phone. And this is the back of it with the phone. And you can see like the back camera and everything and the side buttons. Um, it's a very beautiful case. Very durable. Very elegant. Cute look even cuter in person guys so if you want it i'll link it down below i needed new bluetooth headphones and these are waterproof wireless earbuds um i already opened them up i tested out the sound the sound is amazing okay i'll probably make a little shop and i'll link it down below for you guys too but as you can see like this is how it comes in the box well not exactly how it comes in the box because i already opened it but this is everything that's in there. It comes with extra earpieces, even though there's earpieces already on it, of course. The charger is in here, and it's a circle charger, the same as my Android phone. You can see. Um, it opens like that. This is the charging case. And you can see I still got the little charging plastic on so you know you take that off so that they can charge inside the box i also got this necklace it kind of came jumbled up in the pack just like this but that's okay it's not broken or anything it's just you know a little shook up okay so it's called the evil eye it's a good luck and protection necklace it's believed that the evil eye protects its owner from harmful energy and negativity They all are like different sized, kind of. One's longer than the other because it's supposed to do like a layered effect. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, it is all over the damn place. And I know it's all over the places I'm manic. Duh. Anywho, if you got any other questions about being bipolar, being manic, and depressive, and how it works out, just leave it in the comment section and I'll make a video answering these questions or I'll just write you guys in the comment section. Like it doesn't really matter. You can email me. My email is down below. If you want to cash app me to fund my shopping addiction, well, my cash app's down there too. <laughs> in case you didn't know, that's part of the side effects. I have urges to buy shit that I don't have the money to buy. So I can't buy them. But if you give me the money, I can buy them. I got a lot of shit I want to buy on Amazon. I might link a wish list down below too but anyway like this video do go ahead and comment because i like y'all like that and you can share this video if you want to i ain't opposed to it <laughs> follow my other socials because when i manic shit gets real funny around now yeah check it out but anywho uh yeah that's it for today oh and um
Yeah. If you have any tips, like if you are like me and you have any tips of what I can do to like uh calm this shit down a notch, <laughs> you know, the natural way, because I don't really like taking pills and shit and I don't smoke weed, I quit. So, yeah, if you got any other tips on how I can, you know, fix this cookie brain of mine, do leave that down below or email me. Thanks.